a lot of patients with congenital myopathy are the first member of their family to be affected, so-called sporadic cases. And for many years, it wasn't even clear if they were caused by a genetic change. However, a few families had multiple affected family members, that was, and the disease was clearly inherited in a genetic fashion. Some of these gave us our first clues for finding the genes, because we were able to use an approach called linkage analysis, which allows us to correlate the inheritance of the disease together with the inheritance of specific pieces of DNA. As a result, we can map the location of a gene and then go in and sequence that gene to find a potential mutation. Now, having found that gene inherited together with the disease in a family, we can now test the same gene in some of the other patients who have a sporadic case. Because the congenital myopathies are so rare, we've had to enroll patients not just from Children's Hospital in Boston, not even just from within the Northeast or the United States, but in fact we belong to an international consortium that identifies and enrolls patients from around the world. By pooling our resources and collaborating with other scientists and doctors around the world, we're able to get sufficient numbers of patients to study so we can hopefully identify the genetic causes for these diseases.